Wow, what a beaut, huh? Just out here for a little walk through this lovely little grove of ancient forest that through some miraculous twist of fate ended up being spared the axe. And it's got me thinking because this whole conversation about protecting old growth forests is just so completely foreign to so many people these days. You know, a large portion of the population likely couldn't tell the difference between a second growth forest and an ancient one like this here, let alone have the opportunity to travel to it, to be able to walk through it, to get to know it, because it's actually quite difficult to find little groves of these forests these days, especially ones that aren't just blatant tourist attractions crawling with people from dawn to dusk because the reality is that's what many of these forests have been reduced to you know theme parks or zoos highlighting the last remaining of their kind in the decades of mechanized assault against these trees and the mindless pursuit of profit without thinking about the larger ramifications of those actions, our society has already largely robbed future generations of the ability to even know forests like this, some of the last remnants of a time we'll never see again. With those remaining slivers of untouched ecosystems far up remote logging roads or accessed by heli only, waiting for a time when someone gets to walk through them to either get to know them or to cut them down. And perhaps that is where industry and resource extraction policies really have the upper hand here and they've been doing a great job keeping it that way because how will we as a society ever be able to push for change if we don't even have an opportunity to know or be made aware of what we're losing in the first place?